Use me. What is mine to do? Where is my talking stick? <laughs> so this went off, this went on. I'm so glad you showed up. We're glad you showed up. <laughs> me too. I have been preparing for this talk. For this moment in time, 29 years, three months, and probably an hour, give or take. And the reason I know this is this is the talk that the spiritual leader of Unity on Montgomery, no, Unity in Montgomery, Alabama, gave on the very first Sunday I ever showed up at Unity. It was a five basic principles. And I had been trying to get to that Unity Center for a very long time. I first was introduced to Unity because I found a book at the church where my parents uh, attended that was called Discover the Power Within You by Eric Butterworth. A group of harmonious heretics, as they call themselves in the Methodist Church, was studying unity. And I participated in that book study, and then I found, oh my gosh, there's a unity in my hometown. But it took me a little while to get into the cycle because they only met every other week. Can you imagine <laughs> going 14 days without unity? It was a little bit of a stretch after I got used to it. But she was giving a talk as she was going to leave that community and said, do this in remembrance of me. Follow the principles, not the personality. And I walked out of there transformed, truly, truly transformed. The reason is I had heard those principles before, but never in just that right way. And it, the end principle was the kick in the pants that I needed. And I'll share it with you. It doesn't matter what you know. It's what you put in practice. Do you need one? A kick in the pants that says, it doesn't matter what you know, it's what you put in practice. So these are the five principles, the 1990 version. There's a new one out. We'll go over that in a moment. The first one is, who'd be willing to stand up for everybody to hear and, and read that in one voice for us? Yes. God is absolute good. Kick in the pants. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. Who's willing to read? Nope. We're going to go. Now we're going to read number two. Good. The Spirit of God lives within each person. Therefore, all people are inherently good. Yes. Thank you, Brenda. Kick in the pants. Number three. Who's willing? Yes. Kathy. Kick in the pants. Thank you, Kathy. Number four? You're standing. Kick in the pants is a sound like it. Only if you need it. There's power in affirmative prayer. Wow. Jack. Affirmative prayer. Okay. Number five. Together, we must live these truths. We must live these truths. It is the living of these truths that gives it the animating energy moving through the words to embody them in body, in body them 
so that we can demonstrate them in our world. Now you think that these five basic principles had been around in this form for a long time, but they haven't. Actually, Charles and Myrtle Fillmore, the co-founders of Unity, started out with something like 25, and we would not be going over them so easily. But their granddaughter, who had grown up with their, her parents and her grandparents, particularly Papa Charlie, she came to be able in the 1970s to distill these into five basic principles. There is only one thing going on here. And it's God and it's good and if I don't see it, if I don't, oh, leave it up, if I don't see it, if I don't feel it, if I don't know it, Where's the problem? What color of glasses do you have on? If I have my God lens on, then I'm going to see it, feel it, know it, experience it. That's the practice. The kick in the pants, so to speak. Can I tell on you? Kathy this morning said, she just loves saying how beautiful and noticing people. And she just kind of loves doing that. And I said, you know, when you are able to see the good, you're in the love. <clears throat> and she said, well, sometimes there's a few people I still am working on. <laughs> Kicking the pants. But when we can feel within ourselves we can see the good. Now, I, I have a few people I'm still working on. Just a few. Right in my face. Right in my face. But truly, missing <laughs> exit seven on the way from Chatham here, I end up going to six. Thank you, God, there's a turnaround place on the other side. Now, why do I miss exit seven? And I do this invariably when I'm getting ready for a talk. I don't know why. I think it's because by that time, I'm really in the swing of things, and I am not paying attention at all where I am on the mid-cape. And then I go, gosh, it should have been turned here somewhere. There's good in that. There's God in that. And there's joy in that if I'm willing to see that experience. Number two, yeah. I have three different versions of this in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Let's see which one. We are all spiritual beings, ideas in the mind of God, created in God's image and after God's likeness. The way I first learned it, this shorthand was, Christ in you was your hope of glory. Jesus was the example, not the exception. Christ in you is my hope and glory. When I can see you as the Christ, when I can see me as the Christ, that's my hope and glory. Two thousand years of living and exuding, holding the space for this energy. The Christ is waiting on us to see that we're all spiritual beings. We are made in the image and after the likeness of the divine. The German word for God is good. See, the good. Duh. Kicking the pants. And it's not in just some of us, it's in every one of us right now. Kicking the pants. Right good. Number three. The way I learned it was life is consciousness. We, experience, we create our experience in the world by the thoughts we think, the words we use, and the actions we take. 
Change your mind, change your experience. Change your mind, change the world. Have a new thought, and guess what? It's new again. But it is just words until we start leaning into the experience. I made that. Who? I made that. I made that. <gasps> there is a power and a presence and an activity of good that is there for me to open my eyes to. And the more awe that we have in that experience, the more interconnected and outer happy we are. There's a pamphlet that Unity was sharing that was called The Mental Equivalent. And it talks about you have to create the mental equivalent first before you can see it demonstrated. It's the chair, it's the money, it's the whatever this is called, it's the... You have to create the mental equivalent and then you can see it, experience it. It is the transforming power of all that is. Quantum physics actually confirms this, that even the smallest particles in the universe change shape, form, pattern, depending upon the observer and what the observer is looking for. Sometimes we see it as particles, sometimes we see it as waves. It all depends upon how we see it. And ultimately, all things are working for our highest good and our greatest joy, despite Nick's missing exit seven. I got here on time. There was no problem. I'm glad you showed up. <laughs> Four. Through pa the power of prayer and meditation, what do we do? We are aligning ourselves with God mind. And Jack does this all the time. You don't know that about Jack, but he's praying twice. You think you're over here praying, but he's praying twice because he's not only holding the words, it's vibrating in him. It is the vibratory embodiment of aligning our energy with all that is that transforms us from separate to oneness. And that vibration is what the Aramaic word for prayer is. It's really setting a trap for God. It's setting a trap in your sails for the God thought that's always there for us to experience. And number five, knowing and understanding these laws of truth is not enough. It's what we put into practice makes the difference. And every Unity Church that I've ever been into, worked in, got to share and time with. We're all working it. It works when you work it. So keep showing up. And together we say, thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. So in the back, there is a copy of some version. Oh, actually, it's the version of Unity 5 point something, I'm sure, that has the newest iteration. iteration Reiteration. Yes, I can get all those syllables in there. The reiteration of Unity's principles because it is an unfolding experience. And trying to get a bunch of Unitics together is like herding cats. So together we say, 
Thank you, God. Pick one out up on your way out if you'd like to transform your lives. 29 years ago, three months, look what it did to me. Thank you, God. You have been watching the message from our Sunday celebration service here at Unity on Cape Cod, providing a positive path for spiritual living. Please join us every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. at 147 Walton Ave, Hyannis, Mass. And visit us online at www.unityoncapecod.org.